Hi, and here I am at Sterling Eco. It's where art meets electricity, and I'm sitting on something incredible. It's an electric bike. I tell you, it's going to revolutionise transport. It's like riding on air, and it's, it's something that you, know, you just won't actually believe until you get on one. I'm going to be meeting the director, Robert Grace. Hi, Robert. So nice to see Hi, you. Hi, Stephen. Nice to meet you. Listen, I'm so excited by this. I mean, it's sexy and it's fun. But what is an electric bike? Well, sexy fun, but it's also very functional. <laughs> is it? So we're, primarily it's functional. We've designed this particular bike um, to uh, as next generation travel, basically, um, as we convert from combustion to electric. You know, the, the, the narrative around the world is that we need to be... Um, walking across the planet as lightly as other species. As yes, well. absolutely. So, uh, um, uh, so it's a conversion, basically, um, from combustion to... Uh, well, so say I was going to London to Brighton. Could I, could I take this bike, like a normal bike? Th this particular model, yeah. yes. Um, it, this particular model is designed for urban riding. So Fantastic. the battery in this uh, bike would take you for about 30 miles. But we have the same model, which has three attachable batteries, which will take you 139 miles in total. So, so Robert, what's the demographics of people that buy electric bikes? Great question, and we've been um, studying that for quite some time now. Um, uh, and there's a real, real broad range of demographic for this. It's a really lightweight bike, so it's very easy to ride. So from new riders or people that haven't ridden bikes before, it's, it's the, it, we're introducing this to those. Uh, and then we have bikers, for instance, that have great big Harleys and are coming in and buying these as a second option. Yeah. Um, uh, we have uh, office workers through to tradesmen, so uh, uh, men and women. So the demographically, it's quite a broad range. Okay, Robert, one of the things that I, uh, I really no noticed was uh, being on it, it it's, it's so light and, and there's no sound to it. How safe is it? Okay, th that's a good question as well, because with uh, insurances, they tend to say, oh, it's a silent bike, it yeah. might be more uh, dangerous to ride these. But um, in, in reality, the speed limits in London or in the cities have reduced down to 20 miles an hour yeah. and these are very very safe to yeah. ride and they'll become safer as the as they reduce the amount of cars on the roads you're allowed in the bus lanes with these and as for the, the silence uh, side of it we have so many cyclists on the road yes now, so of course people yeah. are much more aware yeah. of the fact that there, there are uh, silent two-wheeled vehicles i mean i've mentioned it feels like a, i mean it honestly feels like a piece of art sitting on this it's just so gorgeous i mean how art inspired do you feel it is well it's it's we're a design innovation based company yeah. uh, of artists and designers yeah. and it's crucial that we get that message across we wanted to design and produce something that would look very stylish it has to be functional but also yeah. very stylish yeah. there are so many mopeds and electric uh, bikes on the road at the moment yeah. and everyone tends to look like a delivery drive, rider and we've kind of taken that we want to develop something that's a bit more stylish yeah, than that course, for the yeah. commuter and also for the leisure rider as well. Art side, we have the Bigot and Grace Gallery here in the yeah, showroom. It's an, amazing, and it's, it's an amazing space here. Absolutely, and over 100 artists are now involved in the Bigot and Grace I was going to say, I'm, I'm in Wapping High Street here, and all the cars are coming past, and everyone's looking into the space, and it's like a little, it's like coming on to obviously an exciting piece, a museum. Um, so, Rob, how did you get involved in this? Um, I was actually, because I, I come from a designer and I'm an art background, I yeah. was asked to design an electric bike uh, or decorate an electric bike yeah. over nearly three years ago uh, by a German company that were going to send it to America. Yeah. They sent the bike to me and when I saw this piece of kit I was, I, I was mesmerised by it and I thought and I uh, checked the market and we weren't doing anything like it in the UK. So um, that's how it began. We did a couple of years of product development. We have a JV with a factory that manufacture these. We assemble them in the UK. We've got the infrastructure in place. Um, uh, and we've also got, now got this showroom, which is at the highway. Uh, and it's, ironically, it's between the two busiest petrol stations in London. So we yeah. have this flagship store <laughs> um, uh, projecting a message of eco-friendly zero carbon footprint uh, uh, transport options. Okay, but that's the next question I have to ask you. <laughs> so pardon my ignorance here. How do you charge this? <laughs> there are two points of charging as well. So you can charge this on a 220 volt. Yeah. We've specifically gone for a 220 volt and not the type two 
um, uh, battery uh, uh, chargers. So you can charge this in bike, or you can take the battery out and yeah. charge, take the battery indoors. Most people that so you can literally plug it in system. at home while you're watching the telly. Yeah, you could do. Yeah, of course. And of course, there's no fluids, there's no oil yeah. leakages or anything. The only tiny bit of fluid is the uh, the assisted brakes, the disc brakes. Uh, so this has to get my head to head around this. Is it going to put my electricity bill through the roof at home? No, it, it, it's on a normal 220 uh, uh, volt charger and. Uh, it costs approximately 50 pence to charge the battery. Oh my God. And so if, if I'm on the road out there and suddenly it's, I need to charge, wh where would I go to charge it? Well, that is, most people would carry, you, you, once you get used to the limited mileage of these, that's yeah. one of the things that, the technology on these bikes is very fluid yeah. and the, battery, the, the batteries will improve yeah. so you'll get more distance. But it, these ride for about 30 miles. It has a gauge on it which tells you um, when you would need to recharge, but you'd need to take the battery out and charge it. Can you it imagine how much you're saving reason. on petrol? <laughs> We're getting, is, getting yes. one of these, because I, mean, I mean, that's a big, I, I've broken down in my car uh, with, uh, with not having any petrol. Well, uh, thanks, Robert, ever so much. It's really exciting and you're good welcome. luck with it. Yeah, thank you, Stephen.